So ciao, chin chow, Slanter Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Prism version Nuzlocke. In the last episode, if you were watching to the very end, I know I had two sped up bits of uh, grind, sort of, I got lost things uh, in the last episode, but we did make it here to Saxfridge Island. And you also have seen that we used our fake ID to get onto this island, but it also got us arrested. So, yeah. I'm locked up. I can't... I need a cage key to unlock this door. Now, I can't make it out into the parole yard. So, you know, so I can make it out into the yard. Because I can jump... I have my jumping shoes. So, that's a thing. But... You know, there's not really much here on the yard either. I mean, there's a place to heal my Pokemon, which is great. To win my freedom, though, I've got to get the, bim the gym badge from here. i got to get the gym badge from Saxfridge Island. But anyway, this is where I need to be anyway, because the fact is... Uh, the, the, I can't remember his name now, but like the legendary Pokemon of this game was trying to wake up another one of the legendary Pokemon of this game. I know that, that Pokemon's called Flamco. Vonix or something like that? Vonix? I don't know. But anyway, so we need to be here today. Anyway, so let's take a look at the team rather quickly. So we have Neptune, our level 48 Azumarill. Uh, with the moves, Surf, Sing, Dizzy Punch, and Icy Wind. Then we have Misty Rose, our Confused Guard holding Machoke with Double Kick, a Rock Smash, Rock Slide, and Bulk Up. I know where Earthquake is. I can't fly here, so uh, I, yeah, I can't get us off. It. I can't get off this island. So until I get that gym badge. So yeah, I don't think I'm getting Earthquake today, but it'll be get. It'll be got soon. It'll be got soon, and. Misty Rose will have Earthquake. Then we have Ghost White Arm Electric with Thunder Fang, Bass Tremor, Thunder Wave, and Crunch level 45. And we have Cooper, I mean Copper, our level 46 Razor Claw holding to get all the crits in the world, hopefully. Psybeam, Razor Leaf, Spring Buds, and Sleep Powder level 46. Then we have Orchard, our Crobat, level 44, holding the black glasses. I'm still not sure why, but I need to take them off, uh, actually. Yeah, I need to take them off. Anyway, so Crobat is level 44 with Razor Leaf, Fly, Nasty Plot, and Sludge Bomb. Then we have Jelly Bean, our Nine Tails, level 47, with Dark Pulse, Tri Attack, uh, Thunder. Uh, no, Tri Attack, Flamethrower, and Nasty Plot. Maybe you. I come. Maybe you should have the black glasses. Because you have a dark type move. And it would actually be really useful on you. So, yeah. You know what? I'm going to give you... The black glasses. Do I have a normal type move that someone would, would benefit from, like, having... Uh, nope. You don't have a normal type move. Do you have a normal type move? No. You don't have one you've... No, no one has a normal type move, so no one's going to benefit from the pink bow. Oh. That's fine. I don't think I've got anything else that would help. There's a dragon type. I go dragon scale. That would boost dragon type moves, but I don't actually have anything that would do that. E and everyone would benefit from that either. Soft Sand I'd love to give to someone once I have an uh, Earthquake. Especially, um, like, uh, Machoke. But for the moment in time, I have nothing that really works on this team. Uh, nothing that really works held out my eyes. There's a... There, I can fish it? There's grass. There's grass. My encounter for Sex Fridge Island is... A it's not that. It's not that. It's not that, ladies and gentlemen. That's a Vulpex. I have that. Let's try that again, please. Saxfridge Island, my encounter is... No, it's not that. Stop it. I can't have that. I already have it. Round three. Saxfridge Island, my encounter is... Stop giving me fallbacks. <laughs> Stop 
it. I want to do, I want this episode to be nice and quick. And nice. Oh my god, is there any Vulpex here? Is there only Vulpex in this grass? Because I found four Vulpexes in a row. Is there only Vulpex here? What the hell? Is there only Vulpex here? I'll try one more time. If it's another Vul... It's another Vulpex. It's another Vulpex. Alright, fine. I'm going to leave it alone for a bit. Um, I got five Vulpexes in a row. They got you too? I was taken here. Pink was taken too. Ooh. Ilgon... Ilgantugo City and Red somehow managed to escape. You're asking how I ended up here? Well, after I was sent here, Vin Vinius, Vinius, that's its name, the Pokemon that Red woke up, came and created a path that, a path back there. Red did say that Vinius knew where the other guardians were. Perhaps it's trying to return the orbs to the others. Yeah, uh, but yes, using this path it created, I was able to escape and ended up here. Oh yeah, I found uh, this thing inside the wet Orden's house. Please take it. Mini Vinix is still around. I have a sickening feeling that you may be able to tame it. Oh, I got the cage key. All right. I'm going to try one more time. Now, I only have that, too. I mean, it's not too soon, but... I already, I already had that. That's my first death. I can't... I can't go... I can't go for Butterfree again. I think I'm only finding Butterfrees, and... There's got to be other things here in this thing other than Butterfree and Volpex, and Butterfree seems to be incredibly rare. Come on, anything. Please. Nope. <laughs> Alright, fine. You'd think this grass would give me something, you know? We're quite far into the game now. Or you'd think. We're quite far into the game. There you go! You took you took you long enough. This is my eighth encounter. Or is it ninth? I think it's ninth, actually. This is my ninth encounter. Ninth encounter, and there I go. There I get my uh, Houndour. All right. Now, can I do anything to you? The Surf would kill you. Dizzy Punch would kill you. Icy Wind is special, which my uh, and it's not super effective. It's actually not very effective. But look at the difference in levels between my Pokemon and this Pokemon. Yeah, I'm just going to throw a ball and see what happens. If if I need to, I will hit you with the Icy Wind. Just get in the ball. There we go. I don't need to do that. I don't need to hit you with Icy Wind. All right. Around dawn, its ominous howl echoes through the area to announce that it, this is its territory. All right, so I need to find you a nickname. And I do not have my nickname randomizer. Uh, I do not have my color randomizer up right now. Let me get it up. Hang on a sec, guys. I usually have this preloaded ready to go before I start an episode, but today I didn't. All right, so your name is... Well, Saddle Brown is the color, but I don't think that fits. I'm just going to call you Saddle. Or it might, if I have no words, it might fit. No, it's not going to fit. It's not going to fit. So I'm just going to call you Saddle. Saddle! Alright, cool. Now can I... Can I surf in this water? The water is moving too fast to surf. Alright, fine. I guess I, to advance, I have to go back into my cell and use the cell key. 
All right. Can I get in, can I get an encounter in here? I mean, I actually am running out of Pokeballs, so I prefer not to. But like, you know, it's always an option. Yeah, I want to lock the door. All right, cool. Oh, so it only unlocks my cell? Okay. So I can't let any of my friends out. Okay. Is there anything here? I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. Just I'm just adventuring round. Because, you know, why not? I actually have no idea where I'm going or... Oh, I could... I found a cage key! I can let someone out! Do I want to let someone out? That's the question. Um, is there anything else I can find here? I found another cage key. I can let another person out. Can I let everyone? Is there enough cage keys to let everyone out? I found a fluffy coat. What the hell's a fluffy coat? It's when it in the key pocket. When in the key pocket. What is it? What is my... What is a fluffy coat? Here it is. Protects you from lower temperature. Oh. Okay. Well, that allows me to get through the cave. The Catherine Tunnels, then. Because they said it was far too cold for me to get down... Uh, to go across there. So now I have a fluffy coat. I can cross there. Okay. I can be protected from frigid temperatures. Cool. Which means that that's probably the next place to go. Do I want to unlock this door? Well, who's in these doors? That's the thing. It's like, I've got so... I've got all the... Wait, there's pools? What kind of prison lets you have a swimming pool? Did you know? People often... Oh, it's the, it's the bathhouse. New stuff in the bath. If you're looking for something, it's worth it to look inside those. It's the bathhouse. That's what the, it is. Okay, so people sometimes lose stuff in these baths. Which I can't find, so... Yeah, it's not very really helpful to me. Is there anything at all? No, nothing, nothing. I'm trying to push the, bu the A button around. Do I, have, do I have a dowsing machine? Um, dowsing machine. Dowsing machine or item? No. No dowsing machine or item finder. Oh, I found a cage key! That's another cage key! Okay, so now I have four of these. Do I want to let the Black Ranger out? I could do that. I could definitely do that. I could definitely let the Black Ranger out. Uh, is there anything else I need here first? I mean, what's up here? Alt! You're not allowed up here. Oh, you put me back in my cell. Okay, fine. Is there anything else around here? Halt! You're not allowed up here. Oh, okay, fine. I mean, I have a key to my cell, so you're not really stopping me from venturing. You're just telling me to go back. If you were telling me, if you were stopping my adventures, well, you'd have to lock the doors. And again, I still have a way out. Halt! You're not allowed up here. God damn it! I made it so close to the door. I want to find out what's through that. I can't go there. There's a key. There's a guard there. I guess if I get, like, it's like Metal Gear Solid in a way, but there's that the, the guards aren't moving. Because the guards move in Metal Gear. Okay. 
Hello, Mareep. Uh, I think this counts as an encounter. I think this counts as an encounter. Because it was set. But I can't hit you. Probably can't even hit you with any of my Pokemon. Misty Rose is the lowest level, and I don't think it could hit you. Maybe it could hit you with Rock Smash. I mean, I only have one Pokeball, so I'm trying to figure out what I can do outside my Shiny Ball, which I don't want to use, by the way. I got him. I hit him. I hit him down to the lower yellows. And now I'm paralyzed. I want to go back and I need to go back into Neptune and sing this thing. Okay. Sink. Okay. And if I throw a Pokeball now, it should catch. Should catch. Note the word I said, should. I have no idea whether it will or not, but we can try. Ultra Ball, go. One, two, Game Boy Luke. Yes! All right. We got a Flaffy. And I know that Flaffy, uh, Flaffy, Emperos and all that other stuff have the nickname Power Cut on my channel because they've been awesome for me, but nope, that's not how it works. You are Dark Red. All right. So we have Dark Red. Red, the Flaffy. Not sure if I'm actually going to use Flat. I mean, I look. I don't get me wrong. I love Emperos. I love it. Absolutely love it. But like, if we run into a situation, I have Pokemon now. I have a Chinchow. I have. I like. I think I have things to deal with Electric types. Okay. Ooh. Well, I only. My rules when it comes to set encounters is I only get one. So... I picked up the... I picked up Power Cut. So, yeah, I only get one. That's my first encounter. I picked up Power Cut, so I don't get that. I don't get any of these. But it's okay. It is totally okay. I could have got a wild Raichu. I mean, technically, I already have a wild... I already have a Raichu. Because I have a Pikachu and I have a Thunderstone. So, my abilities to get Raichu are possible. I just don't... I just haven't done it yet. So, it's not really that bad. Oh. Okay, so I can walk across this now. And that gives me another cage key. So that's five. Okay. I mean, is that everything that's down here? Yeah, that's everything that's down here. All right. Cool. I have another key. I have five cage keys. I probably have enough to cause a... Hello. No one's allowed up here without a special roof card. Okay. I guess I can just let people out then. But I don't want to let people out. I I just gave you freedom, yet you want to hurt me. You like I you have freedom! Freedom! You are free to do anything you want, yet you want to hurt me with your Pokemon. Alright. Hurt the hand that feeds. That's fine. I think I just wasted a, one of these card, uh, one of these uh, keys, but that's fine. So, let's talk about things whilst we are... Uh, whilst we're sorting... Uh, whilst we're going through these people and letting them free. 
and then re not realizing they are free and don't have to kill me in order to win their freedom. They've literally got freedom right here. Anyway, hey, let's talk about things. So, I'm going to go... Uh, later on today, I'm going to go to my local German... Uh, well, my local European supermarket, Lidl. Uh, because it's German week, and it's probably the, the last German week I get to actually play around with because of a thing that I don't like to mention, but like is going to decide the fate of my entire nation, Brexit. But I love, Ge I love German week. I love the idea of going to see all the f uh, German foods and, well, it's not German week, it's, it's Alps week, really. Because it's not just Germany, it's any region that the Alps is part of. So, like, it's Germany, it's Switzerland, uh, various parts of northern France. There might be a bit of Belgium in there, too. It's just European. And it's really cool that they have all these things, like currywurst, blockwurst, uh, nice German beers. If you take this key, I'll let you go. Hey, I got my cage key back. Thank you, mate. I got my cage key back. What's down here, then? I need a passcode to unlock it. Oh, well, that's not helpful. Um, can I let you out? I'll let you, but yeah. I'll let you out, fisherman. So, yeah, I I mean, I can't wait to do it. I love going to these, like, they have, like, so many good things at this uh, various uh, supermarket that could be really nice and everything. I mean, I love food, don't get me wrong. I am a fat guy, so I love food, so I'm going to enjoy going there. And it's a long walk, so, because I like to, I'm not going to go and take the bus to this uh, supermarket. I'm going to walk there in about an hour or so, and it's, it's, it's actually a good walk, so I'm actually going to be actually quite happy for it. So I'm actually looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the walk. I'm looking forward to uh, sampling some more German food because I love Germ I love German food because I'm a fat guy who likes food. So why wouldn't I like German food? I mean, of course I'm going to like German food because I'm a fat guy who likes food. So of course I'm going to like it. And it's just a good walk, so I get to do... I get to do that, so I'm very, very happy they get to do that. And I'm going to have a load of shopping in. I also need to get a load of shopping in, so I'm very, very happy I get to do that too. But that's all. Uh, but the fact is, this is the last one before break. I'm going to say this happens like every six months they have this at my very at my German supermarket, and I think this is possibly going to be the last one. Like for a while because of Brexit. Brexit is literally going to ruin the chances of me going to another shop like this. I mean, I I don't know what the idea of I don't know what the world like the world that happens to come from Brexit. I don't know. I honestly don't know what is going to happen October thirty first. I know Halloween is coming, and I know I will be playing Hypnos like Hypnos Lullaby on the channel because. Uh, last year I played Lost Silver, and I'm going to play Hypno's Lullaby. I also might... Young one. Uh, sorry, young one, I don't have anything information to spare you. Oh, you could have just gave me a key then. Um... You know what, I'm going to let the Black Ranger out. I'm going to let the Black Ranger out. That's what I'm going to do. Hey, mate. I recognize you. You went undercover and landed me up here. I could have easily blamed you for me being here. But I spent a good deal of my time here just thinking about uh, life's decisions. My life's decisions. Not just my own choices, but the kind of choices that get us all 
to change the road that we're on. Me, I joined a group of Pokemon trainers who were extreme in their means of attracting their philosophy, of attaining their philosophy. We used anything such as psychic op opposition, oppression, sorry, with our Pokemon uh, to get our way. I believe I was doing good, that I was doing a service to our future generations by funding ways to radically improve the growth of Pokemon. I believed what I was doing was good until our run-ins with you started. You just are a humble trainer who with her own Pokemon bestowed our generosity superior ones. You showed real respect to your Pokemon team and created an extreme possible bond between them. Positivity bond between them. The world needs more trainers like you, not like us. Here, take this. You deserve it more than me. I got the roof card! It's a card I found on the ground. This card gets you to access the roof. The basement door is locked by some special code. Where they keep the unruly Pokemon of this prison. Someone else might know the passcode. Alright. Hello. Prison actually isn't that bad. At least I get to pay my uh, student... Uh, at least I don't have to pay my student loans. I mean, that's... Uh, that's the good thing about being unemployed. I don't have to pay my student loans. <laughs> Not that I'm saying that it's a good thing, ladies and gentlemen. I know I've... I've got student loans. I want to pay them. Um, I want to get a job so I can start paying them off. I know I probably won't pay them off before I'm 60, when I'll be just written off. But, you know, still, I'd like to help. And there's other things I'd like to do too, but, like, still, I'd like to get a job. But that is one of the freedoms of not having to uh, worry about... That is one of the freedoms you don't have to worry about when you, uh, in, uh, when you're not, when you're unemployed. You don't have to pay back any student debt you may have, which is also in this country. I don't know if that's the case in America. I'm pretty sure Amer uh, the American, uh, like, they don't have the same system we do. I mean, yes, sure, you still have to pay tuition fees for your student, for being a student, but I'm not sure if you have the same things as us when it comes down to it other than that. Can you beat up this cop? Can you beat this up, Copper? Dizzy Punch. Ooh, I handled that. I didn't get I didn't get confused. I can handle another one, I think. Okay, did. A race leaf should kill from here. Nice! Good, we beat Cool Trainer Connor. You seem like a sensible young one, kid. With a very sensible kind of lifestyle. You pursue the life that you want. Over the life you are expected to. to live and because of that decision, great things will happen to you. And to, to those with whom I've interpreted, you may want some real trustworthy words. Try to go to the roof. A bunch of prison guards go up there and drink and smoke during breaks. Some of them may even be so drunk they might sleep a secret password. Okay. I found a PP up. I think I've got everything I need down here. Yeah, that's all my cage keys. All right, fine. I guess I need to go 
up to the roof. I have a roof coat. I have a roof card now. I did not do that right. I have a roof card, so I guess we can go up to the roof. I need to avoid the guards here, so maybe this might be harder than I think it is. Yeah, it's probably harder than I think it is. But there is a way. There is a perfectly good way to get to the roof. Down here, round, past the rock, and... Hello, mate. Well, it looks like you have a roof card, so I'll let you in. Alright, thank you. What? 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 I got out. You have an Arcanine! I'm a... I'm not scared. I mean, I prob... Oh my god, you have Thunderfang. I actually am kind of scared now. I'm kind of scared now. Kind of scared now. Or not. What else do you have? Lucario. Jellybean? Can you handle a Lucario? It's fighting steel, so... Flamethrower should do a lot, right? Yeah, Flamethrower should do a lot of damage here. And it kills. Awesome. Level 48 for Jellybean. I really need to get everyone else up levels. Pidgeot. Um, Ghost White. Yeah, Ghost White. Ghost White can do that. I think I might need to do a grinding montage as soon as I get off this island. And get everyone else to level get everyone to level 50 instead of like just being random levels. Especially Misty Rose. But we'll honestly see if I can actually do that anytime. I don't even know if I actually get any decent moves from doing that. What happened? Dang it, great Eddie, stay focused. I hate take having to take care of this guy. Alright. Alright. You have another free Pokemon. You start with Weavile. I mean, Neptune is actually quite bad here. Jellybean is the uh, is the play. Jellybean is the perfect play for this. And if we can get it, I guess we could probably end the episode after this. Because this is decent time right now. Neptune goes to level 50. Neptune is trying to learn play roll. Finally! Well, get rid of Dizzy Punch for that. I got Play Rough. I love it. That's like your signature fairy move. Emperos. I have nothing for an Emperos. Literally, nothing. Uh, I'm just going to stay in then. At this moment in time, I have nothing for Emperos. I would, like, this is the whole thing of why I want Earthquake on Misty Rose. Because Earthquake on Misty Rose would save me from Ampharosis and any kind of other electric types. I know that Misty Rose is still kind of weak to electric. Uh, you know, can not take the electrical hits, but like an Earthquake or two for Misty Rose with the Soft Sand boost. Bingo. That should be enough to kill anything. So, I'll be happy with that. That's why I want Earthquake, and that's why I'm going to try and get it when we get our freedom. Beautiful. Officer John is defeated. This is serious. One of our worst prisoners ever. These prisoners could break out at any time if they wanted to. Grady and I... Dang near run this whole security these day in this place nowadays. Isn't that right, Grady? Huh? Anyways, you're just a kid. 
They shouldn't have allowed juveniles to go down to, uh, go down to the workout room and ask Polly for the new password in the basement. It's because of your incompetence that we've got to change the pass darn password. Would you mind giving me the password? May I just talk to Grady and he'll just give me the password? Because you're not giving me the password. Okay. So where have I gotta go? Where have I gotta go? Where am I going? Go to down to the workout room and ask Polly for a new password to the basement. It's because of his incompetence that we've got to change the pass darn password. Okay. That's just it's just so much easier to get caught and sent back to my uh, yard. Okay, so where's Polly? Ah, here's the workout room. Oh, nurse! Thank you! You are... Like, I needed that. I needed that. Hey, mate. Oh, jeez. Kid, you scared the stones out of me. There's been a lot of paranormal activity around this place. I know what uh, it will come calm me down. A Pokemon battle. Oh, come on! <laughs> and you start with an Electabuzz. Level 43. I have nothing for Electabuzzes. Okay, I am actually a little scared of you. Also, I, how did you nail a thunder? Okay, Barry erosion defense, but you're gonna die. There we go. I'll end this episode as soon as we get a password to the, uh, the uh, basement, okay? Magma. I want Misty Rose to do this. I really do want Misty Rose to do something, finally. Rock slide. Ah, you missed your cross chop! Alright, cool. That probably wouldn't have killed me anyway. Oh, I didn't kill. Ah, you can't belly drum because you're under half HP. Beautiful. Good work, Misty Rose. This is ridiculous. Be careful downstairs. Those Pokemon are unpredictable. What's that? Johnny Boy said it's okay to give you the password? Okay, sorry about that. The password to the main gate is Wiggly Jelly. It's a combination of my favorite sweet and Grady's childhood Pokemon. Jelly Donuts. No, no, no. Uh, it's certain it's Wiggly Jelly. Okay. Wiggly Jelly. Ha! What do you want, you little wimp? Looking for keys? Well, I got a spare one. If I don't need it because I'm tough. Enough to live in prison, my prison life. Hey, cage key, thank you! 
Guess I got one more of these things. I heard that this island used to be the resting grounds of some legendary larger le guardian. Humans and other Pokemon were not allowed to visit these islands. However, they constructed a the construction crew didn't care. They uh, had their orders to build a prison, so they built it on this historical landmark. That's the thing. People just don't care sometimes and do what they're told. Just do what they told to do. You, you know, do what they're paid for and stuff like that. So it's called Wiggly Jelly. Wiggly Jelly. The cage door opened. All right. Cool. Um, there's a bunch of Pokemon down here. That could be unpredictable, but I don't have. Oh, I don't have things to help me deal with them. There's a Metagross down here. I don't have balls. This is going to be interesting. Anyway, until next time, I'm Lantern Joe. We're going to end this episode off here. Mean to love Pokemon, get to last hour. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night! Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when new videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe and you'll be able to get news about the channel, new videos, and so much more as well. And if you want to watch some more videos, there should be some in the top right and top left hand corner of this video. But until next time, from me, Joe, and from Lantern as well, we'll see you again.